Hey guys, welcome back to Handmade Home. I'm Hester and today I'm going to show you the new look of my living room. Do you remember back in the summer I did a blog post about a 3D way of planning your next room makeover and I uh, scaled my living room down and I made miniature furniture and one of the pieces of furniture I made is my dream sofa which is this sofa from West Elm and I just did it out of fabric and cardboard and this sofa I actually made for a competition it was for Blocktacular and West Elm and I loved it so much I won the competition and guess what happened? This sofa turned into the real life big thing sofa which is right behind me. How amazing is this sofa? I had it for a few weeks now and I absolutely love it. It's the Peggy mid-century L-shaped sectional and it's such a good fit for this room. It just fits in between a door and into my alcove and now Ian and I don't have to fight for space on the sofa anymore because he can lie around here and I lie on the other side and Kermit saw my daughter in the middle as well and it's a really good sofa when you have guests over because it can easily fit six people on here and I thought now I have my new sofa in place in my living room I might show you a little video of how I style the place Let's do a little recap first This is what the living room used to look like I had the sofa in my old house, it was fine there but it just never fitted the room in my new house didn't even have an armrest on one side of the sofa because it wouldn't fit into the space. And even though I tried with my cushions and styling and even tried making different covers for it, the sofa was just never right. So that's why I started crafting and I came with my 3D uh, planning tool for your new living room makeover. Just to see if my dream sofa would fit in my space. It does! Look at this! It looks amazing! I love this Peggy sofa. I love the little legs, how it's raised off the floor. But of course now I need to style the room. And let's start with a rug. This rug was actually upstairs in my bedroom. I think it looks really nice in the space here. And it's a bit of an upcycled rug. It's a really generic rug from a B and Q. And I made these tassels. And you can go to my website and type in rug to find a tutorial for this one. And after the rug, we need a bit of tables. And you saw these in the previous shot. I had these already. These are IKEA nesting tables. And I think they look really nice in the space. I think the curved edges go nice with the straight lines of the sofa. Give it a little poof. This one is an online find. And we need a bit of artwork. I made this picture ledge myself and more about that in next week's tutorial. But just a perfect space for your artwork, some books I'm reading, some flowers and some ornaments. And now we've got that all in place, we need a little side table. And this is also a tutorial from the website. Just type in three slab table and you can see um, how to make it. Then we need some trinkets for the table. I love this planter so much. It's a West Elm one I picked up last weekend. I love the doggy shape and a few candles for the table and of course some coasters and these are from Ikea. To keep you all nice and snuggly in these cold winter months, I always put a throw over the edge of my sofa as well. This is an old West Elm one. I don't know if they still do this pattern. Have a look in a shop because they do beautiful throws and blankets. And the last thing we need is cushions. I love a good cushion and I really like mixing patterns and colours and I just keep messing about with them until I find a really good combination. And to see where all these cushions are from, head over to my website hesteshandmadehome.com or have a look at the description on this YouTube video. And there you go, this is my new Luke living room. How lovely does my sofa look now guys? Isn't it absolutely beautiful? And the good thing is with styling a sofa this way, you can easily change it again. Because the rock and the table on the sofa will always be here. But with editing a little bit of accessories like on the table, or the cushions, or the things behind me, it's so easy to change it for the season. Because at the moment, even though it's autumn, I'm still very much into my greens and my greys and my yellows. So maybe come Christmas, I might change a bit more to whites, silvers, maybe a hint of gold as well. And this uh, thing behind me, the picture ledge, more about that next week in next week's tutorial, how you can make your own. But for now, something more exciting as well, I'm running a really nice giveaway. Because when the people from Etsy UK saw my new sofa and how it looks in the living room, they sent me these beautiful hand-woven cushions. I got one with a yellow trim and one with an orange trim. And these are so beautiful. But what I've done as well, they didn't only send me two cushions, but they also sent Kermit a little cushion. 
Look at that, how cute is that? Is it the shape of a bone? And I think he really, really likes it. But as well as cushions for me and Kermit, they sent two cushions for you guys. They sent me two of these beautiful cushions for me to give away to my friend. And I thought, why not give them away to my blog friends? It's a really nice blue knitted cushion. And this really beautifully dyed one, also in blue and white. If you want to win these, head over to my Instagram and have a look for the picture of these cushions on the sofa for all the terms and conditions and how to win them. These could be in your house. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and have a look on my website, hestershandmadehome.com for more interior inspiration for your home. I'll be back next week with a new video, like I said, how to make this beautiful picture ledge behind me. So I hope to see you then.